Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. When you began to use Lightroom, I imagine one of the first things you learned how to do is how to import images into Lightroom. And that's a rather involved process. And what I mean by that, for example, you're in the library module and you want to import images, you could go to the bottom of the left-hand panel and click on this import button. When you do that, you bring up what is called the import dialog box. And there's a lot you could do here. You could copy, move, or add the images. You could convert them to DNG. You could add a metadata or develop preset. You could rename the images. So there's a lot you could do. It can be a bit time consuming. And especially if you're new to Lightroom, this could be a bit confusing as well. Well, there's a way you could import images into Lightroom without having to use this import dialog box. It's called auto import. And with auto import, when you have it on, Lightroom will monitor a folder somewhere on your computer, and whenever images are added to that folder, Lightroom will just automatically import them in the background, and you really don't have to do anything except set it up. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now, obviously, I have Lightroom up open. To get to Auto Import, go up to File, and then down to Auto Import, and then over to Auto Import Settings. Now, what you have to do here is you have to tell Lightroom what folder on your computer you want it to look at. Now it could be a folder anywhere on your system. It even could be on an external hard drive. But it's going to look at that folder, monitor it, and watch it. And whenever an image is put in that folder, it will automatically import it. What you need to do here also is tell Lightroom where to put it. So we're going to do that. At the very top, what folder do you want it to watch? So I'm going to choose and I'm going to actually create a new folder on my desktop. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this to be imported. You could call it anything you want and you could put it anywhere you want on your computer. You don't have to put it on the desktop. So I'm calling it to be imported. So that is the watched folder. Now, where do you want to put the images? Well, we're going to choose. Now I have my Lightroom library on an external hard drive that I call Lightroom. That's the name of the hard drive. Also the root folder, the folder, that contains all my other folders is called Lightroom Raw Files. I want these images put inside of this folder called Lightroom Raw Files. I'm going to click Choose. Now, I just don't want it in that folder. I want it in a subfolder. So right here I'm going to give a subfolder name. And this folder doesn't exist yet, but it will. Once we start importing, Lightroom will create this folder. So I'm going to call it Auto Imports. You call it anything you like, all right? So I'm calling it Auto Imports, and that folder will be created inside of my main folder called Lightroom Raw Files. Do you want to add the images to a collection as they're imported? You could do that here. Click there and pick the collection. I do not want to do that. Do you want to rename the files? You could, or you could do that here. I'm going to keep the original file name. Do you want to add a develop setting? Uh, that's a preset. Do you want to add a preset to it? I don't want to. How about a metadata preset? This is usually your copyright and maybe your contact info. Uh, you could do that here as well. I'm not going to do it. You could add keywords. Then you could tell it what type of previews to build. It does this all in the background. Um, I'm just going to go with one-to-one -one previews. You have your choice. And do you want to disable auto advance? If you happen to be in that folder that's going to be called auto imports, as the images are being imported, what it will do is import the first one and it will show that image up here. And then when it imports the second one without this checked, it will show the second one. When it imports the third one without this checked, it will show the third one. Well, if you don't want to do that, just click that box. It's no big deal. I'm just not going to click that box. But what I am going to do is I'm going to enable this. So this will work. We'll start to work at least. So we're going to click OK. Now over here, it didn't create that folder yet, that folder that I named called auto imports. It didn't create it yet, but it will create it the first time you start to use auto import. So what we're going to do is we're going to just scrunch Lightroom over. You can see here's the folder that we created just now to be imported. Notice on my desktop, I have five images. We're going to auto, auto import these five images. So I'm going to open up this folder and I'm going to drag, I'm going to marquee select all of these. And then I'm just going to drag them into this folder. And Lightroom is watching this folder. All right. Now over here, you'll see in a second, you'll see auto import it. There it is. It just created this folder. And you could see those images disappeared. And they appeared over here. Just imported them just like that. Let's bring this out. 
Now they're here. They just did it in the background. It built the previews in the background. It did all that in the background. Now you could come here and you could take these images and drag them wherever you want. Let's say I want, I don't know, these two, these two. I select them both. I drag them into that working folder. I want them there. I could drag them anywhere I want. I could just drag and drop. Now, if Lightroom is closed and you put images in that folder, that folder that's being watched, they'll just sit there until you open Lightroom again. And once Lightroom is opened, it will, in the background, automatically import them and put them in that folder we created. In my case, I called it auto imports. And again, you could have these images, or the, I'm sorry, these images, you could have these folders anywhere on your system. You don't need it on your desktop. You don't need one on an external hard drive. You can have them anywhere. And you could name them anything you like. And I use the auto importing all the time. Uh, I'm always dragging images into my watched folder and I let them import. And sometimes they sit in this folder for quite a while until I drag them and drop them into the folders I want to. But it just works for me. And um, I think it might help you um, as well. It saves you a lot of time instead of going through that formal import process. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.